All right. Um, today we're going to talk on um, some more skills of science. I'd like you to write this down. Um, estimation, a careful guess when exact measurements are not needed. Take a moment, write this down. Okay, um, if you kind of think of some things that you estimate, there are some um, common things. Um, if someone asks you, if you're at a, uh, a football game and someone asks you how many people were there, um, you're not going to um, say just a second and, and count them. Um, they might, might just went, oh, about 300. Now, it might be 320, it might be 285, but um, an estimation um, is just something close. Um, we estimate with certain things. I know when I make uh, when I make mac and cheese, maybe this isn't the correct thing to do, but I boil the noodles, and um, then when you add the little cheese packet, and you're supposed to add, I think, a half a cup of milk. I usually don't get the half cup out. I usually just kind of dribble some milk in there and stir it, and maybe dribble a little bit more in there. So um, estimate with that. Someone might ask you, um, like, oh, how, how far does it, how long does it take to get to Sioux Falls from Tri-Valley? And you might say, oh, about 30 minutes. Well, depends on where you're going. It might be 32 minutes. It might be 25 minutes. So um, those estimations, um, it's just something where it's okay to be close. So that's what we just did. So it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, to measure, uh, write this down, a way to find exact values for distance, number, and capacity. To measure is to find an exact value for distance, number, or capacity. If you're baking a cake and you're supposed to put six eggs in the cake, um, you better put six eggs in. You don't want to just grab eggs and throw some in there. And oh yeah, that was close. Um, otherwise, the, the cake isn't going to taste good. Um, when you're building a house, you want them to measure the exact measurements of your walls and your roof and all of that. You don't want them just to say, oh, that looks good and eyeball it because then you'll have uh, walls that are all different height and it won't fit together well and it won't look good. So um, there's times to measure and there's times to um, estimate. Hypothesis. I'd take a moment write this down. A proposed explanation or educated guess. Hypothesis. A proposed explanation or educated guess. A prediction, I'd write this one down, um, when you state what you think will happen in the future based on past experiments and observations. Prediction is when you state what you think will happen in the future based on past experiments and observations. <coughs> Meteorologists predict the weather. Um, they look at a bunch of readings from temperature to humidity to um, satellite pictures to predict what the weather is going to be like in certain places. This is based on knowledge from the past. They might say, oh, well, normally when the clouds do this, this is what happens. Or normally when the temperatures are like this, this is what happens. Sometimes they are 100% right. Sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes they're somewhere in between. But um, a prediction, um, you're using past events. Um, people do this all the time with um, like betting on um, sports. Okay, they, they say, okay, this team versus this team, who's going to win? Uh, well, you might, you might look and say, oh, well, they've never lost, so they're going to win. Or you might say, oh, um, this team has this really good player, so I predict that they're going to win. I can predict how some of you guys will do on tests 
based on how much you pay attention during class. If you're paying attention, constantly writing notes, asking questions, I predict that you will do really well. So prediction is based on past observations. Predictions usually contain an if and a then statement. So if I fertilize the plants, then they will grow faster. If I study every night, then what do you think? You will do well on the test. So hopefully those terms make sense. Any questions, let me know.